Hi everyone, yesterday we learned about the equilibrium constant Kc and Kp. Kc is the equilibrium constant in concentration. Kp is the equilibrium constant in partial pressure. Okay, just do some revision. Let's check for this question. Exercise. Okay, write expression for Kc and Kp if applicable for the following reversible reaction and equilibrium. What applicable? Because you have to remember, Kc, we just look at aqueous and gas. And then Kp, we just focus on gas. So let's check the answer, whether correct or not. Okay, so is this the Kc expression? Okay, Kp expression is not applicable because all in aqueous. This is the Kc product over reactant. Okay, concentration and O2 to the power of 2 because the power is based on the coefficient. Okay, over the... Uh, so you must make sure here the equation is balanced. Then an O2 to the power of 2 and then O. Concentration, oxygen. Okay, for the partial pressure, okay, the equilibrium constant, you just bracket, okay, represent by P, okay, capital P. So you can check your answer. Okay, next. Another exercise. Once you know how to write out the Kc and Kp expression, right, actually we need to calculate certain things. We can calculate the concentration of, an, of a compound or partial pressure of a compound or Kc, Kp of the system. So in this case, Kc is given. And then please check the equation whether balance or not. Yes, balance. And then make sure the question is in the equilibrium, then only we can uh, write out the Kc. If, this, if, if the system is not at equilibrium, right, meaning that that is not Kc, it's Qc or Qp. Okay, in this case, equilibrium. So first, you have to write out the Kc expression. Okay, so I will suggest, right, you all write down step. So first of all, right, make sure that step one, equation. Step one, make sure the equation is balanced. And then step two, okay, write down the KC expression. Step two, you must write down the KC expression over here, step two. This part actually is the information given by the question. And then step three, substitution. Step 3 over here, substitution based on the information given. And then step 4, answer the question. In this case, the question 1, the concentration of hydrogen. So make sure your final answer must be unit. So the unit for concentration is in molar. Here, yeah, madam, repeat. Uh. Step 1, make sure the equation is in balance. Step 2, write down the KC expression. Step 3, substitute all the value given. And then step 4, answer the question. In this case, we need to find the concentration of hydrogen gas. Oh, sorry, concentration of hydrogen uh, gas. Uh, right. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so today we are going to check again for the 6.2 equilibrium constant. This time we need to derive and use the equation of Kp equal to Kc bracket RT delta N and calculate the Kc, Kp, or the quantities of a species present at equilibrium. The quantities of a species mean the concentration of the species, the partial pressure of the species, or the number of mole or even mass of the species. Okay, so first of all, right, Kp and Kc for heterogeneous equilibrium, we must always remember product over reactant. But for solid, as I said before, we need to ignore. So solid, ignore. Okay. And then this one, gas. Okay, in this case, solid, ignore as well. Okay, yeah, I will ignore it. Okay, I tend to do a line here. Ignore this. And then, ignore for this as well. I'm sorry. Ignore solid liquid. Okay, meaning that this is product. Product means concentration CO2 for Kc or P CO2 for Kp. So the concentration of a pure solid, pure liquid, and so on do not appear the equilibrium constant expression. Eh? Always remember. Okay, this is the relationship between the pressure and concentration. We can represent PV equal to nRT. So P equal to N over V R T. Okay, so R P 
over RT equal to N over V. N is number of mole. V is volume. So mole per volume based on here, right? You know this is the formula for concentration as well. So at constant temperature, pressure is directly proportional to molar concentration. Okay. Constant pressure over here, constant pressure. So a constant temperature. Constant temperature, pressure is directly proportional okay, to the molar concentration. Okay. So PV equal to NRT, you have learned in chapter 5. Chapter 5, ideal gas. So P is the pressure in NTM, V is volume in liter, and then N is the mole of gas in mole. And then the R constant, gas constant is in NTM, liter per mole per Kelvin. Temperature mass in Kelvin. Okay, uh, please take note. Uh. So based on here, they were derived following equation. How to get the equation Kp equal to Kc bracket RT delta N? So let's do by using the general equation. Okay, AA plus BB rectum, produce CC plus DD gas. So first of all, you write down the KC and KP expression. Okay, so this is the first equation for the KC expression. This one is the second equation for the KP equation. And the third one is PV equal to NRT. Okay, based on here, you change PV equal to NRT equal to P equal to N over V RT. N over V actually is the concentration. Okay, concentration. That's why... Okay, the concentration for air is equal to, for PA, right? Okay, PA equal to NA over V. NA over V is the concentration of RT. So doing the same thing for the PB, PC, and PD. Okay, uh, first you know, pressure is equal to N over V RT. So the pressure of A equal to NA over V RT. So the pressure of B equal to NB over VRT. Get it? So should be no problem for your OR for this part. And then you just substitute PA and A. PB and B. PC and C. PD and D. So you will get the partial pressure of A, partial pressure of C, partial pressure of B, partial pressure of D. Then you substitute the 3, 4, 5, 6 over here. You substitute the 3, 4, 5, 6 equation over the KP expression. Okay, yeah? then you get this one. Okay, equal to RT product, okay, minus reactant. The coefficient of product C plus D minus A plus B. At last, you get, okay, this is the concentration A. Uh, wait, wait, here, you can check. Over here, you can check, actually, this is KC. Uh, this is the first equation. The first equation is here. That's why you substitute here with KC. RT delta N. So therefore, you get it. Get this equation. Okay, what is delta N? Delta N is the coefficient of product minus the coefficient of, the sum of the coefficient of rectant. Okay, uh, again, N is the sum of the coefficient of product minus the sum of the coefficient of product. Means the number of mole of product minus the sum um, so again, so it's the number of mole, total number of mole of the product minus the total number of mole of the reactant. This is delta N. Okay. Yeah? So now you know how to get the Kp equal to KCRT delta N. Ah, again, delta N equal to mole of gases product minus mole of gases reactant. So let's try this exercise by yourself. Kp is given and then ask you to find the Kc. I think the difficult, uh, the, a bit challenging for you is find the delta N, just a bit. So for example, this one, 1 minus 2, negative 1. This one, 1 minus 1, 0. Why? Ignore solid. Always remember, ignore solid. Okay, this one, 2 minus 2, 0. Let's check, is it correct? Yes, negative 1. Okay, and then substitute. This one, 0, yes. This one, 0, yes. So write down the formula, find out delta N. The R value is constant, which is 0 0.08206, and then the temperature based on the question, and then you just substitute, and then you get the answer. So, since the question given is in Kp, so we want to find Kc, right? Kc equal to Kp over RT delta N. Just substitute, and then you get the answer for question A, question B, and question C.
If the delta n to the to the power of 1, right? See, it's easy. Can C equal to KP it means 49. Same for here. Okay, it's equal to 0, right? So can C equal to okay. Uh anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. That's why KP equal to KC. Okay. Yeah? Okay, for the previous lesson, right, we already learned how to write out the KC and KP expression based on an equation. So today we continue for question number three from Kuturia. Okay, first of all, right, every time when you get the question, check whether the equation given or the question given is at equilibrium or not. Okay, if at equilibrium, then only we can write the KC or KP expression. So in this case, yes, at equilibrium. So that's why I underline. The words okay at equilibrium so at equilibrium okay these are the number of moles given by the question sulfur dioxide oxygen and sulfur trioxide and then the volume given is 12 liter okay what the question one the question one to find the equilibrium constant can see at 700 degrees celsius okay step number one make sure the given equation is balanced okay uh, this is the step one okay check yes the equation is balanced Okay, because after that, you have to write down the KC expression according to this equation. That's why step 1, you must identify the balance equation. Okay, step 2, anal analysis. Because in this question, uh, the concentration is not given directly. That's why you have to find out the concentration of each substance by using the formula mole over volume. Number of mole over volume. So this is the concentration. Okay, of sulfur dioxide, sulfur trioxide, and oxygen by applying the formula number of mole over volume. Then next, step 3, write down the KC expression. Make sure you write in bracket, uh, this form of bracket, and then to the power of 2 for the SO3 because product over reactant. And then concentration of SO2 to the power of 2. And then, okay, oxygen to the power of 1. So for this answer, right, the student didn't write the KC expression correctly. So one mark will be deducted or one mark will be lost. Okay, so make sure you write the proper KC expression, then only substitution. KC, substitute, then you can get the answer. So your correct answer, with, correct answer is no unit because KC, KP is dimensionless, so no unit. Get it? Huh? So you, please don't copy this answer because the answer is missing over here because this student didn't write down the KC expression properly. So you please write down. Huh? Okay, next proceed for the next question number four. Okay, given partial pressure of these three gases, again, yes, at equilibrium. And then the partial pressure given the unit is in kilopascal. Okay, class, like chapter five. Okay, all the, all the pressure, right, change to LCM. Okay. And then for this case, calculate the equilibrium constant, Kp. Yes, the Kp is given, but the unit is not as what we want. So we need to convert the unit into LTM. Okay, so check the first one, balance equation. Number two, partial pressure of each substance must in LTM. So you have to remember, uh, 101325 Pascal equal to 1 LTM or 101.325 kilo Pascal equal to 1 LTM. You can convert them by using stoichiometry. Okay, so this is the partial pressure of PCL3 in LTM, oxygen in LTM, and then POCL3 in LTM. So step 3, write down the KP expression. And then step 4, substitution. And then step 5, final answer. Okay, again, dimensionless, so no unit for KP. If you compare, right, question number 3 and question number 4, actually it's the same. First, balance equation. Number 2, if concentration, you have to make sure the concentration. If partial pressure, you must make sure the partial pressure in LTM. Then 3, KC expression, KP expression. 4, substitution. 5, final answer if you need. So, these two questions considered is easy level. Okay, next, question 5. Okay, so again, equilibrium, and then check the equation, step one, balance equation. So for this balance equation, like you have to alert liquid, H2O liquid, just make a line, ignore it when you write out the KC or KP expression. Okay, this question, want to find KP and KC. So, any information to help you to answer the question? 
given the vapor pressure of water, mean partial pressure of the water is 23.8 torr. So partial pressure of water must convert the pressure into atm. So 760 torr equal to 1 atm. So again, stoichiometry, so you get 3.13 times 10 to the power of negative 2. Okay, in this case, Kp equal to partial pressure H2O. So the partial pressure equal to Kp. Okay, yeah? so how to find the Kc? Just now we learned the relationship between Kc and Kp. So write down the formula for Kp equal to Kc RT delta N. And then make sure you know how to find the delta N. In this case, it's 1 minus 0, so equal to 1. R, is, R constant is 0 0.08206 and then temperature given is 25 degrees Celsius. Make sure change to Kelvin, so plus 273. So the, the temperature is 298. Okay, so step 1, check the equation. Step 2, write out the Kepi expression. Step 3, calculate the value for Kepi. And then step 4, apply the formula to find the Kepi. So this is the Kepi value. Okay. Question number six. Okay, nitrogen dioxide. So first check the equation, whether balance or not. Okay, based on here at equilibrium, very good. So partial pressure in NO2 is 0 0.15. Now the question one, find the partial pressure of dinitrogen tetraoxide. So in this case, you have to write out the Kp expression again. Kp is given, so you substitute the value of uh, partial pressure of nitrogen dioxide to help to help you to find the partial pressure of dinitrogen tetraoxide. So normal calculation. That's why this also simple level, easy level. Balance equation, write down the Kp expression, substitute, and then find the answer with correct unit. This case must be correct unit. Why? Because it's partial pressure. So partial pressure in ATM. Okay, let's check for the next question, question 7. The following reaction achieve equilibrium when the partial pressure of bromine gas is 0 0.6 atm. So in this case, the partial pressure is given. Okay, and then to question 1, Kp. Okay, as I said before, if the equation given, the phase in solid liquid ignore. So just underline it, okay, just make a line over here, ignore, ignore. So for this case, it's partial pressure. So Kp equal to PBr2 to the power of half. Given the partial pressure in this case is 0 0.6, so just press your calculator and then you get 0 0.775. So this is the final answer for Kp. Okay, simple question as well. Okay, question number eight. Okay, given this equation all in gas, Kp is given. And then the question one to find Kc. So this one straight away apply formula. Kp equal to Kc RT delta N. So mm, the coefficient is 2 mole. Here is 2 plus 1, so 2 minus 3. So equal to negative 1 for the delta N. Mm, temperature 25 plus 273, 298. Okay, so Kp bracket RT. Make sure you know how to calculate. Uh. Do it step by step. If you're not familiar with your calculator, you just use R times T times delta N first, then press Kp over the answer that you found just now. And then you get the answer 7.39 times 10 to the power of 6. Again, again, remember, must change your temperature into Kelvin. Eh? The R constant is the using the ATM one. Okay, 0 0.08206. Okay. Now questions 9, 10, and 11 a bit different. So we continue later. Hope you all learned something. Thank you.